welcome back to Factorio. I'm Hitman82. This is episode 46. So, oh my gosh, today everything has stopped. Why is that? Because heavy oil, if you see over on the right side there, we are full on heavy oil, and which shuts down everything because now the uh, refineries can't produce any more uh, oil. So, yeah, this is a bad thing. So, this mass, we're getting rid of it. It is, it is that time. So I laid out pretty much where I want my all my assemblers, or all my chemical plants, as well as my oil refinery. So we're just going to plumb all this stuff in. Um, I'll do some of it off screen, I imagine. But for now, um, let's just think I actually want to start further up here. I don't want to get kind of caught up. Um, let's see how much room we got here. Get rid of these trees. Die, trees, die. Uh, yeah, we'll go all the way down there. We'll just take all that stuff out. There we go. Well, that'll take him a moment. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get that stuff laid out, um, and once, well, we'll see if I have the power to run it. If I don't, I'm going to have to then get a whole bunch of solar panels put down right quick. So we'll see how that goes. I may end up having to pull the plug on it until I get more power. So we're done charging bots. Okay, so um, let's see. I've got some pipes here. Um, hmm, how high up should we go? We'll go to here and then uh, no, change my mind again. <laughs> yep, yep. It's it's one of those days. Um, still suffering from allergies, so I tell you, it makes everything. Especially uh, one thing about Factorio is it requires a lot of concentration, and I'm fine, and I can I can barely even concentrate on hitting the play, the uh, record button. So, yeah, it's affecting my video slightly. So sorry about that, but there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Other, well, that's not true. I can just not record, but somehow I don't think that's what you guys want me to come up with for a solution. Uh, let's get this. You know what? Why don't we do this the smart way? Smart. Let's see. There, that's not a lot easier than doing it all one by one. I love robots. They're so awesome. Uh, now what I'll have to do here is... We'll just hover those up. Get to my petite. Fetch me the chemical plants. Alright, so... Come on, drop them off. Uh, now you notice this flashing here. And it's going to keep beeping at me. There's an alert. It needs 39 level 2 uh, efficiency modules up in the northeast corner. See up here? I, I can't do anything with that until I get my oil sorted. So the quick and easy fix would actually be just to plop down a storage tank of heavy oil and then problem solved, but that's not what I want to do. So, oh, speaking of tanks, should I? I guess I don't have one. Oh, all right, I'll make some tanks while I'm doing this. All right, so we want this to be advanced oil processing. So we'll copy that and paste it to these, and then we'll pipe uh, do our piping in. At least we don't have to go far for water, do we? It's all right there. Let's clean this out a little bit here. Get rid of a few more trees. Die, environment, die. Alright, so let's get take this out here for the water. <coughs> Excuse me. And this for the oil. Yes, I know I could have done all this with blueprints too. Aha! So so maybe we will then. What do you think of that? Yes, so let's do that with blueprints. Um, pink jacks, we want to keep that in here somewhere. And that one, don't think we'll need, so let's just do this. Like so. Shift click it, and it'll paste it. There we go. So I want to leave enough room that I can get between them. That really bugs me when I can't. So It'll take a little more space, but what do we care, right? Space is not at a premium here. And we'll get rid of that. So we'll want to pipe in all our fluids from the from the top. And that way we just keep... Uh, so I'll have to put those back in. Oops. Fix that the right way. There we go. All right, a heavy or uh, lubricant. You know what? I'm just going to go and I'll, I'll put all the stuff... In here, and then I'll I'll uh, do a jump cut here. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've done some layout here. 
So I'll briefly run through this stuff just so you have an idea what I'm doing. So obviously here's our, um, our water comes in here and our oil comes in here, gets processed, heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum goes out and goes, we'll have the storage tanks up above. And we're also going to have a, a fluid bus. So there's going to be lots of pipes going on here. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and get more pipes. I'll do that off screen in a moment. Uh, we've got, this is, these are all chemical plants here now. So there's our lubricant. This one will take heavy oil, break it into light oil. This one takes light oil, makes it into fuel, which we'll need for a rocket eventually. This takes light oil, makes it into petroleum, and it gets water. Um, let me see. Did I? Okay. Just making sure I got all the piping in I need. Uh, this takes water and petroleum, makes sulfur. And then the sulfur is used in making the uh, sulfuric acid, and as well as iron plates and water. So you get water, then the iron plates will come down here. Got the batteries. It'll have iron and copper coming down, and then the batteries going up. Plastics has, uses coal and petroleum gas. They'll be coming down here and going back up that way. And then explosives, which uses sulfur, coal, and water. So that means we're going to have um, two buses coming in, copper and iron, and then and coal, and what was the other thing? Um, oh, the sulfur will be on there. And then a, two buses going out, one will be um, batteries and one will be um, plastics. Oh, and also explosives, so that'll be two buses. Okay, so there we go. So next thing to do is to, uh, we'll just copy that whole thing like so, and create it. Now, see, these don't all have to be exactly this spacing. So I'm being a little bit wasteful in that respect, but eh, we got lots of space. Plus, then it'll look better. Look at that. Wee! Busy, busy, busy. My busy little bees. Go, my bees. X for pause destruction. Little bees. So, um, let me see. Two, four, five. We'll do six. That will do for now. Some of them obviously won't be doing anything, so I may actually have to go and remove them. Wow, this looks not too bad. What do you think of that, Trillian? See, look at this. Why didn't you do that on the on-screen? So I actually, I today, instead of recording this, I almost ended up recording. Um, I've got a save game. We've we've moved on. Trillian and I were working on an off-screen game on, um, on our server. And I was going to show that, and I thought, well, and then I didn't. The long short of it is I changed my mind. I wanted to bring out another one of these. So what I'm going to do is when I'm done here today, I'll record, I don't know, one or two episodes probably. And then I'll, um, oh, let's see, where's pipes? I didn't actually have to run back here on screen, but I'm yakking, so so fair. Um, my plans are to um, show that off. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind here. Uh recording this possibly one or two more and then I'm gonna do a whole bunch of off-screen stuff just to kind of move things along um, it's it's difficult to play for a bit and then record a little bit and then record uh, it's it's just very difficult to, to it, do it that way so I think I'll uh, I'll just go and get a bunch of stuff done on screen here and then I'll go and do a whole bunch off-screen and then you'll see that on the next one all right my robots oh not enough power poles Do I have steel on me I do. Um, don't feel like walking back for them when they can just make them right here. Okay, and I believe that is everything except the power poles, which they will kind of work on now. So I actually have, for instance, um, these these ones aren't going to be used. These chemical plants that produce the solid fuel, they're not going to be used for a, quite a while. I probably got more sulfur uh, in there than I need, and I'm not really going to worry about that either. Oh, looks like I need some belts here too. So let's just go over here and fin finish filling in everywhere. So the next thing will be a bus. So I'm going to pause while I get the bus started and then I'll show that to you. That way I get kind of some time to think about it first and add and remove things and then you know how that goes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Okay, that took me a little while. I could have made two episodes probably in the time it took me to set all this up. Okay, I'll try and describe briefly what we've got going here. Um, right here is our fuel will come out and see how it's going to hit the side of that bus. It's going to fill one side of that. 
that belt. The other side will be explosives down here. See, they'll be coming up and going on the belt. And they'll be put on the far side of the belt. So that'll work. Um, the next thing is the sulfur is coming out here. And I just put these chests on here as markers so I know what line, what line does what. So the sulfur will go here and it splits. Some of it goes down to the sulfuric acid. And uh, the rest continues on and goes down to the explosives. We'll zoom out a bit more and it goes all down there and then connects to that side of the belt and goes down. This side of the belt here is coal. And as we track that back, some of the coal will go down to the plastics. And the rest just kind of skips through everything. Back here at sulfuric acid, it needs iron plates as well as the um, the sulfur. So I've got a uh, what's it called filter inserter here, pulling them off this copper and iron plate belt. Next one is batteries that uses both copper and iron plates. So I've got a splitter there, it comes down, that'll bring that one down easy enough. And then its output goes up and across and goes down on its own belt of batteries. The copper or copper plastic has the the coal will come in here and then the plastic goes up on its own belt. I'm just going to do one belt of plastic, I think. Um, later, if I have to, I can twin it, I think. <laughs> um, and then the uh, explosives you already saw. That was the sulfur and the coal. Okay, so there's all that. Oh my gosh, five belts there. So I tried to, I was going to try and combine things a little more in the belts, but it just makes it more and more difficult. For instance, what I had to do down here with this with this filter inserter, I wouldn't have had to do if it was just an iron belt and just a copper belt. So an extra belt in there, and I wouldn't have needed the filter inserter. Um, by building a whole bunch of belts, I went and took all the belts out of the belt factory. That freed up some, well, like once it started working, it started uh, using up some of the lubricant, which was using up some of the heavy oil. So that kind of got things going again. Oh, and it looks like my copper mines are going to need some attention. Um, wow. Okay. And I would say that is a done deal on those coal. So this coal patch, I'm going to change that and just use it for explosives and plastics. The the rest of this, it's being fed down here. Oh, and it's also going to feed the furnaces for now until we get electric furnaces. This belt here that runs all the way over here for these furnaces, I'm going to take that out because I have three chests uh, steel chest full of wood. So I'm going to start feeding those because it doesn't run very often anyway. So I'm going to uh, change that over to, to using wood and uh, reserve my coal for other stuff. Okay, so uh, I guess the last thing I need to do is some uh, the piping bus. So I'll do that again off screen and I'll, um, I'll stick some tanks in there. I've got six tanks. I don't know if that'll be enough. My intention is to have one tank for each of the fluids. And the reason for that is I can then put a, uh, a circuit network on there and use that to read the tank contents and then use that to control valves, which will control the fluids into all these uh, factories. So I shall do a little bit more and then I shall be back. Yeah, it seems like it's night every time I get back on here to show you stuff. Okay, this... This is a piping nightmare, but it is about as neat as I can possibly make it, I think. So everything, it's, uh, I mentioned a liquid bus, so we're going to have uh, water, oil, heavy oil, light oil, petroleum, lubricant, sulfuric acid. I hope I got all that right. <laughs> because, boy, if I didn't, I'm going to have one heck of a mess when I turn on the power and pipe that oil in. Okay, so I, I guess what I need to do next would be, I need to get, um, one thing I did add, um, I wanted to kind of keep things moving since I'm, I was spending a lot of time on this. So I put in this, so that's con converting the heavy oil into light oil. So that's at least, see that's got the heavy oil down, so these are going steady now. So everything's running along. I put just put the research on just now, or a few minutes ago, for the follower robot, so... Um, copper is getting light, so I'll have to sort that. I think I already mentioned that. So things are running. Things are still moving. Um, things are moving a little better now that I put that in to convert the heavy oil into light oil, which is then made into petroleum. All right, so we've got we've got our input and output buses here, um, both liquid and um, and you know on the belts. 
So I think we're just about ready now that all we have to do, all we should have to do is hook up oil to this. Uh, the water's, water's already hooked up. We hook, hook up oil and it should all fire up. And oh my gosh, I don't know what that's going to do to my power grid. So it's probably best to do it during the day. Um, and how do I tell if it's day? Let's look at a power. Um, oh, look at that. It's taking a little longer to charge now. See? See this? This is where things started running again. I started research there. And away she goes. So I'm using about half my power now, and I haven't even plugged this big thing in yet. So there, I'll let the research stop and things hopefully settle down a bit. Well, I would say then, is it about time? Oh, well, I don't have the oil hooked up yet. Let's just see what happens to our power grid. No, oh, just a little blip. It's not doing anything though, of course, because there's no heavy oil, or there's no oil in the system yet. Okay, so that'll be the next thing. We need to bring up oil from this this mass, um, and I also need to kill the oil going into this, and then it'll all kind of work itself out. So I guess what I need to do is go to each of these, break the one the oil there, break that oil, and that one. Okay, so now nothing can get oil. So now we'll see what happens, right? Well, we know what's going to happen. Everything's going to stop. So we've got um, that lubricant's full. That could be a problem. It'll run that down over the next bit. I haven't even hooked everything up on into the um, the system yet. So I think what I'll have to do is slowly just rip things out of here. And I haven't added in the coal yet either. So that probably was... I probably did that a little too early. So... This could be bad. Oh, it won't be that bad. So let's get some coal going on this line so we can get our plastics up and running again. So this is where it's going to get tricky because I don't have a lot of space to go up through here. Well, this part is easy. It's when we get down here. So we'll see where we go from there. All right, so we, we're going to kill that. Oh, we'll kill it here. Like so, and we'll tell that to come over here. We're going to need five lines through here. So one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, so we obviously we don't want this to go up through the oil pat or the coal patch here. So we'll just kind of. No, that's not going to work, is it? Um, hmm. <laughs> well, we'll all see. Let's see how we go here. Yeah, that's not going to work. You already knew that, didn't you? So we got to pull that power pole out. That's no big whoop. Yeah, look at that. Nothing exploded or anything. We're fine. Okay, let's go. Um, let's just try and stay off the coal completely here. It's a little bit higgledy piggledy, but oh well. We'll, uh, we'll straighten it out after we get the. Whoops, gotta go the other way here. Uh, let's just do it like this. There we go. Did that get it all done? That should have done it. Alright, and so we'll to go like that. It should get our coal going up here. That looks neat. It's like a little little snake going along there. Black and blue and gray snake. Alright, so we've got this going. Uh, so we need to pull that chest out of there. And put that in. Go over here, and I think I got some coal on me. I'll just dump the coal in there. Alright, so there's coal. So the next thing is the copper and iron. So we need to get those up here. I don't know if you guys want to really see this. It's probably kind of boring to watch me doing all this. At some point, they'll be like, well, what do you want to watch? So, you know what? You're going to see it anyway. You missed the whole slow, oh my gosh, so slow getting that, um, all that oil stuff set up. All the piping and stuff. Whoops. And it was slow, but, I mean, you, you got to do what you got to do, right? All right, and let's just get, see, that's not even going to be used until I run out of power. So we've got... 
somehow I need to get copper and iron up here. So I've got the copper and iron going down here somewhere. Do -do -do. Yeah, right here. So I think I'll probably just keep that going straight up. Um, can I fit that through here? Oops. Um, okay then. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to work through there. See, I'll have to set up something temporary, get rid of all this stuff, and then, well, I could just delete those. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just start deleting stuff? That would be the smart thing to do. What I could do is start piping all this, all this, um, the fluids up into the thing up there, the uh, other tanks. Oh my gosh, look at this. Well, there's still stuff in the system because the plastic's still processing. So, yeah, we'll wait a little bit longer. In the meantime, we need to get that up there. So, I wonder if I should have. Oh, I should go around this side of the patch. Yeah, that makes a heck of a lot more sense for that stuff. So. Since everything else is going to cross that, of course. Uh, so we've got what two going up and three coming out. Is that right? Yep. Like I planned it. Yeah, that's right. I sure did. Oh, my bridge. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oops. And, alright, so those ones are going to go down this way. This one's coming up that way. Whoops. Faster than my own fingers can click. Okay, and that, how much more are we going to get out of this? Well, let's kill the heavy oil to that, I think. Uh, how's our heavy oil in there? All right, let's kill our heavy oil to this. All right, and then we'll build some more belts just to kind of empty out that. So where be those? Where be the belts? There be the belts. Okay, well, we're just about out of time for today. So I'll, uh, I'll keep going on this. Um, next episode, I'll give you an update of... Um, this will all be done, and all this stuff should be removed. Probably, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'll have that done. So I think I'll, uh, I'll finish getting that all set up, and that'll have the ore, the oil sorted, and I may or may not sort the copper too, because that's kind of boring to watch. And uh, maybe next, next episode I will do, a, I'll do an update here, and then maybe we'll do some train stuff. Maybe. So tune in, and you can see what I'm doing when I do it, because I don't really know for sure until then. So thanks so much for joining me. Uh, make sure if you really enjoyed the video, you can support me a lot by clicking like, because when I see those likes, I know, okay, I'm doing it right. And it, you know, it just makes me feel good. Uh, how hard is it to make me feel good? Click like. Um, comments, come on, give me some comments. I love those comments. You can hear me rubbing my hands together. Good, good comments, good. So <laughs> leave a comment, leave a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed already and you're watching a bunch of videos, hey, why not subscribe too? So I shall see you next time. Bye for now.